Oh god, you guys were watching this whole time? <laughs> okay. Welcome everyone, this is Chase64 Cubed here with Course 2, Polar Peaks. In the last episode, we did Course 1, and we're going to fight the Double Decker Bully, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is actually a re-recording of the audio, because for some reason, I recorded this whole, in segments, mind you, but I recorded every single episode back to back, and for some reason, my audio in Audacity just... It just doesn't work, so I'm going to be post-commentating, but I'll try to keep everything as what it was in the previous recording. So, right now, I'm just failing find this bully, which is actually pretty well done, because the original bully in the original game... Wow. The original ice bully in the original Super Mario 64, it was super easy, and you can kill him in just seconds. And so, when, he's called the Double Decker Bully, because you gotta knock them both off of that platform above, and the platform I'm on as of right now. So I'm jumping on him, knocking him down, and now he's more like the regular bully. The regular fight, but for some reason, today was not my day. And I should've used that guy to get up there, because I'm pretty sure that's what he intended you to do. But that's fine because I'm doing a little triple jump with a, uh, like a, when you push B in the air and you dive, that type of thing. So we're going to grab our first star of the episode. And we're already a third through the game at this moment, which is awesome. Because, like, I'm pretty sure I said in the first episode, I'm getting them all mixed up. But this game's pretty short, and here's the irresponsible parent. Now, I was explaining here, so that's why there's barely any gameplay at this moment. But this is like a running gag in the ROM hack community, where we keep making... Well, not we, I haven't made a game, but i played a lot of these ROM hacks. Where we keep making... I keep saying we. ROM hack creators keep making a mission where the penguin loses their baby like in the original game and hang on let's just see what this penguin says right here well eventually come on me talk to the penguin this is probably me explaining the same exact thing I've just said hey bro I lost my kid for like the 69th time nice joke can you do your thing some tells me this penguin is like a bro, like a surfer dude. I don't know, just the way he talks, imagine I keep thinking that he's a surfer. And you'll notice I'm jumping over and over, it's because if you walk with this penguin in the snow, you go really slow. So constantly jumping makes you go a lot faster while holding the penguin. So fun stuff. Uh, I'm loving this ROM hack. Uh, like I said, I think in the first episode, I played through it twice, and this is my third time playing through it. Alright, let's see what the penguin says now. Thanks, bro. See you when I, next time when I inevitably lose him again. I think I read that right. I, I don't know, I went through that text pretty fast. I must have read it really fast first time. Alright, I keep referencing the fact that I screwed up. Or Audacity screwed up, or I screwed up Audacity somehow. Oh well. So that's the penguin grabbing of this game. So we're gonna be skating for secrets, which is using the shell. I know, actually using the shell to get a star? What is this? That's the cool thing about the ROM hacking. A lot of people use the shell in cool ways that wasn't in the vanilla Super Mario 64. So that's cool. Turn down my volume and it's pretty loud in my ear. Because I'm listening to the game, that way I can comment about what's going on. So yeah, this is the first time this has happened to me in quite a while. I could have pretended I was recording, but some tells me you guys would be able to tell. So I might as well just be forward with you about what's going on. Alright, last time I'm going to talk about it for now. So, here we go. Box busting for red coins. So, as I said in episode one, if, well, 
actually, yeah, I said in an episode when I had to make sure because, like I said, this is... <laughs> I keep talking about it. I was... I'm done. I'm done talking about it. Okay, there's me screwing up, but you'll notice in this this specific ROM hack, Sapphire, that every single time there's a red coin mission, all the red coins are like the same. And here you'll see Mario stuck. That's hilarious. I love it. It's always funny. You can actually dive into it and then your head gets stuck and he like pulls himself up. That's really neat, especially for a game that is so old. It has a lot of character. But you'll notice all the red coins. You can see them because draw distance allows you to see red coins when you really shouldn't because they're all in boxes. They're all the same. So in this level, they were all on top of those little logs. And in this, or in the last level, they were all on top of the logs. But in this level, they're all in boxes. So anytime you see a box, it's most likely... Actually, it is going to be one of these red coins. And you may have noticed I'm going for 100 coins as well because all every single stage in this game, it's best to grab the red coins and the 100 coins in the same mission. So that's cool. Really easy. There's coins everywhere. There's all those boxes with, I think, like 10 coins. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head. Has, see, I, well, I have three of the red coins, and we're already at 94 coins. So yeah, that dude lost his baby again. I'm just assuming he's a dude. I don't know. That penguin lost their baby. How about that? How about that? I don't even know what's going on. Oh, I was just showing that you can kill a snowman. Because a lot of people seem to not know that. I always see comments in other people's videos that it's like, You can kill the snowman? Yeah, you run around the snowman. And here, I actually talked about Jack Frost. I think it was Jack Frost. It was the snowman that killed people. It was a slasher movie. I always wanted to see it when I was growing up. I always saw it in uh, my local place, which was called Video Bug. Uh, growing up, there was a place called Video Bug where you could rent all your video games and movies. Yeah, those don't really exist nowadays, do they? Now it's like a puppy wash place. It's so crazy. Last time I went up there, I think it was a puppy wash place, like dog grooming. But, oh man, I loved just, there were so many like horror, I loved how horror movies, the box art and everything always looked, I loved it. But I was a scared kid. I was a fraidy cat. And here, you'll see me like screwing up trying to find this box forever. And I'm, I doubt I'm going to end up cutting it anyway. Uh, but I was scared of like in Ocarina of Time I probably will talk about it there too we'll see but I was scared of wall masters because it's this hand that grabs you and as a kid anything that could like grab me or eat me whole like something like that specifically always freaked me out because I don't know like sharks too I was scared of sharks and I think I'll talk about it later, wink wink. But, well, I guess just anything that ate you. Hopefully this is what I talked about this episode and not extra episode. So, episode three, if you hear me talking about sharks a whole lot, just be like, yeah, yeah, I know, bro. I know you're scared of sharks, Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> but we're gonna grab the star. Because I finally found it, the box. It was right beside where you get the star. <laughs> box busting for red coins. Okay, how many more we got? We got the quick cap climb. This is one of the harder levels in the game. Or this ROM hack specifically, I should say. So what we gotta do is I apparently gotta find out where the heck the vanish cap is because apparently I forgot I guess because I'm just kind of running to the wrong area. Of course watching and playing is completely different. Those of you that have played 
or done a let's play quote unquote or walk through I keep saying quote unquote I've noticed that but what I'm talking about is when you do the fingers and you say quote unquote <laughs> and I always think of like Austin Powers or something but I say that because people use that like against you normally I don't know how to explain what I mean but here you see me failing this because this is actually pretty tough in fact I might be talking over a part I'm cutting out anyway because I haven't edited the video yet so you gotta do these double jumps, right? And here you're gonna see me do a weird one. <laughs> I like, get stuck on the bottom of it. And then I talked about how in Mario 64, the, as great a game it is, you could tell from its time. Well, I'm not gonna say that because there's games nowadays that do way worse than that. But there's, it's just, you like get stuck and so you start sliding and then you and then like grab over and over because you're just not right on the ledge, but instead of just you missing it, you just get stuck. So here we go, we're gonna try again. There we go. That didn't take too long. All right, we're almost done with this stage. Course two, see they're called courses. I've always called them stages. But it says course right there, and I even say course in all these episodes, so, spoilers. I don't notice in the future episodes that they're really called courses. So, the episode where I talk about what do you call them, just remember that this is technically future chase. I know that's confusing, but I honestly didn't want to play through all of course one to do course two again. So that's why I'm doing this post-commentary. This won't happen often. And there I get stuck on Invisible Wall, also a product of Mario 64. That's very common and in the ROM hacking community. There's some levels that people make where there's invisible walls when you're trying to do a long jump and then you bonk. Wow. I said bonk right when I ran into that fence. Okay. I think, yep. So yeah, the floor is quicksand equivalent even though it's ice just so you die you know that way it triggers the death animation that way you don't get stuck down there but if you notice when I jumped on that box uh, I tried to grab it because that's just the easiest way to land on the box is to grab the box because it lets you run and do the long jump easier if you go from the edge of the box like this you can do a double long jump. I believe you have enough room on there. I think that's what I was talking about right there and why I stopped moving. You could do a double long jump, but it's very hard to do. There's something similar in Hazy Maze Cave. Oh, and that was actually the last one. I already forgot, but there we finished one, two, and the secret slide. So I'll see you guys in the next episode where the commentary will actually match what's going on, on the screen 100% of the time well unless if I go on a side tangent so I'll see you guys in that next episode when we go into course three Later.